guys, welcome back to the Girl Gone London channel. If you're new here, my name's Kaylin. I'm a dual American and UK citizen, and in this video, I'm talking about the surprising differences between Christmas foods in England and in the USA. So you guys loved my Santa Claus versus Father Christmas video, except for this person who didn't and is clearly receiving coal um, in their stocking this Christmas, but most of you enjoyed it. And so I thought, let's do more uh, Christmas and holiday comparisons because there's a lot to uncover. I actually planned this particular video to have tons of different topics around Christmas and compare them, but when I started to think about the differences in Christmas food between both England and the US, I realized that this is going to be an entire video by itself, which I'm a fan of. I like talking about food, I like eating food, I like both British and American Christmas food, so we'll do another video later on about the other differences. This video is going to be all about what we eat in the run up to Christmas and on Christmas day. So before we get on to the actual Christmas meal, I wanna start this first section talking about the food, the snacks, the appetizers that are considered kind of like Christmas season foods. So it's not necessarily something that everybody would have on Christmas day, but once December hits or Thanksgiving is over in the case of America, um, these are the foods that you're going to start to see being passed around as gifts. Uh, they're gonna appear in the office. They're just going to be uh, part of the culture around the Christmas season. In England, if you're attending a Christmas party or event, or again, you're in the office and people are bringing in things, I guess people don't really go into offices anymore, but back in the day when we used to do that, we would have mince pies, sausage rolls, which are basically pigs in a blanket, but with puffier pastry for the most part. You would also have drinks like hot chocolate spiked with Baileys or other cocktails spiked with Baileys. Now, I know when I said mince pies, my American audience were probably like, I don't know what you're talking about. So mince pies are an English Christmas tradition and they date back to the 15th century. So when you are eating them, you are basically eating a slice of history. Mince pies don't actually contain uh, meat for the most part anymore. The ones in the stores you're, are usually vegetarian. So mince meat, is actually a combination of like dried fruits and spices. Um, there's no actual meat involved, but it's called mincemeat. Is that confusing? It's pretty confusing. But just so you know, it used to be made traditionally with meat meat from an animal. And sometimes today people do make it with a beef suet that kind of binds everything together. So it wouldn't be strictly vegetarian, but often if you're buying them from the store, the mincemeat that they're talking about is not meat but it is mincemeat. Also the pies themselves are very small and eaten in a couple of bites. So it's not like a pie that you're gonna slice into and serve out slices. That's why it's a really good party food or food for the office where people can take their own pie and not touch anybody else's and you eat it in a couple of bites or maybe one if you're feeling bold. Now in the US, we don't really have mince pies. I say we don't really have mince pies because they do have a sort of mince pie derivative in the Northeast of the US because of the connections to England, always going back to that history of our connections across the pond. But for the most part, if you go to Alabama during the Christmas season and you ask for a mince pie, they're not gonna have any idea what you're talking about. Um, so for our British followers watching this video, just know that in America, mince pies, pretty much not a thing. So what do Americans eat in the run up to the Christmas season? If you go to a Christmas party or a Christmas themed party, what kind of appetizers would be there? So some traditional options would be things like meatballs, sliders, like little hamburger sliders. We really like dips a lot, so you might have like, queso dip or a spinach and artichoke dip, which is really popular. Little finger foods, basically also anything that you can shape into a Christmas theme, like pull apart Christmas tree garlic bread. There's all kind of cute like reindeer little pull apart appetizer foods. I feel like in America, we really go for the look of the food rather than stick to traditional Christmas options which I will get into later in the video. Don't be surprised if you find like a Pinterest concoction of something that looks like Santa's sleigh. Now, what about like 
snack foods. I know those are snack foods we've talked about, but what about just like something that you might gift to your your neighbors or your kids' teachers or to your family members before Christmas Day? Like what are we passing around as like holiday gifts? So in the US, I would say candy canes are very, very, very popular. And I know you can get them in England and they do exist in England and people here know what a candy cane is. So I'm not suggesting that in England candy canes don't exist or aren't given or aren't eaten. However, America is obsessed with candy canes. So they are everywhere. Um, you know, they're handing them out at street corners. If you go into the office, there's probably gonna be a bowl full of candy canes. We are obsessed with peppermint flavors and with candy canes at Christmas time. We also love a tin of popcorn at Christmas. Yes, this is a giant tub of popcorn. It's not meant to be taken to the movies. It's meant to be eaten at home, like while you're stress eating because the in-laws are coming to stay with you for a week and you're just like fistfuls of popcorn as you go past the kitchen every time. These are pretty like massive tins. Um, and they're usually separated into a couple different sections with different types of popcorn. So it's not just going to be like buttered popcorn. It's gonna be a uh, white cheddar popcorn, caramel popcorn, like random, like chocolate with sprinkles popcorn. And these are very, very popular Christmassy snack food type gifts. You give a tin of popcorn, you put a big Christmas bow on top, and yeah, you give it to people that you like during the holiday season. Now, for the English who aren't very into popcorn compared to Americans, they are going to give tins or tubs of chocolates. So some popular brands would be Cadbury Heroes, Quality Street, Celebrations. I was doing some research for this video to make sure I'm giving you the actual facts, and I found entire studies done on which chocolate people preferred out of the Quality Street tin. So this, to an American who's watching, this is how popular giving these tins of chocolates are around Christmas in the UK. They've literally done studies of people's favorite options. So in case you're wondering about the favorite options, uh, the purple one came out on top and everybody seems to hate the coconut eclair. Do you like the coconut ones? Comment below, let me know if you're one of those people. Unfortunately, they were the last ones. So probably the whole family would argue about like who gets their favorites. And at the end, you're left with just the chocolates that nobody likes. And somehow they inevitably still get eaten because again, that whole like stress eating thing, they don't have the popcorn, but as it gets closer to Christmas and things are happening, family drama, who's invited, who's not invited, you, you end up eating the chocolates that you might not have wanted on the first day you got them. And to just finish off the differences in pre-Christmas food, because we haven't even gotten to the meal yet, which is why this is a separate video, let's talk about eggnog, shall we? So eggnog is a very popular American holiday drink that contains like eggs, milk, cream, sometime, some type of alcohol, usually rum um, and sugar. It, it's kind of also called like milk punch. Um, and the demand for it spikes right after Thanksgiving and drops right off a cliff um, right around New Year's. So this is a very seasonal drink. Now I can already hear my history guru shouting at me from your screens and saying, eggnog was not invented in America. True. It is today considered a modern American holiday drink because in the UK, it's very uncommon to find it just in your average supermarket. You can find it if you go to specialty stores. I think Waitrose might have it. But if you, I tried to order some from like our Asda delivery the other day and it's not an option. So it is considered today an American drink but it wasn't always. It was actually invented by the English. So thank you guys for that. So what happened was eggnog was a very English drink back around the 1700s, but the fresh eggs and the fresh milk that you needed to make the eggnog were very, very uh, hard to find and expensive. So it became a drink for the rich, which is why it really didn't catch on. It gets imported over to the Americas around the 1700s, and in America, the colonists are more easily able to get fresh milk and cream, and so it becomes something of a holiday tradition in America and didn't catch on and didn't last throughout the centuries in England. Okay, so now you're stuffed from all of the pre-Christmas food, but we finally made it to the actual day. 
What are you sitting down and having for a Christmas meal in the US and in England? If you're in England, there is a good chance that you're having turkey. Side dishes might include roast potatoes, roast parsnips, carrots, peas, bread sauce, literally a sauce out of bread, uh, cranberry sauce, definitely Brussels sprouts, and then you're gonna have stuffing. Now, side note on stuffing, stuffing is also an American side dish. Usually on Thanksgiving could also be Christmas, but it's more typical in England, especially if you're in a pub or a restaurant for a meal around Christmas or for a Christmas meal, they're gonna serve stuffing in a ball. Sometimes, I know my mother-in-law serves it out of a pan, um, but in America, it's very, 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 very uncommon. I've never seen it in all of my years of living in America, we don't serve stuffing in any sort of balls. It's always in a pan. Now I know these are the hard hitting differences and fun facts you come to this channel for, stuffing in balls versus stuffing in a pan. So there you have it. Now, if you're in America, what are you eating on Christmas day? Chances are you're probably eating ham instead of turkey. You might be eating turkey, but it's more common to have ham. It's very popular in Christmas movies. Uh, the family often has a ham to symbolize that it's Christmas day and the ham sometimes features as something that they're working really hard to get or the store is out of hams or they're like going around the whole town looking for ham. So ham has become more synonymous with Christmas in the US. Now for side dishes in the US, you're probably gonna have some type of potato dish, maybe mashed potatoes, definitely some casseroles. America loves some casseroles. Um, but for the most part, what you're eating in America does actually depend on your family's heritage where you live in the US and generally like what your family likes to eat. So this is where the US differs pretty significantly from England when it comes to the traditional Christmas dinner. It's very easy to pin down what a traditional English English Christmas dinner is. Yes, your family might do some things differently. They might cook things a little different. Ha, you know, maybe nobody likes Brussels sprouts in your family, though I'd argue you'd probably still have it in England because it's tradition, but you can define what a traditional Christmas dinner is. It is not the same in the US. Our Thanksgiving meal in November is the much more definable meal where you could go around the country to anybody's table and you're going to get a pretty clear cut idea of the types of dishes that are served on Thanksgiving. For Christmas, it could really be anything. A lot of families with Italian heritage will do a lasagna, an Italian food for Christmas. A lot of people with Hispanic heritage, particularly in the Southwest, view tamales as a very popular Christmas food. And then you've got people in the American Southeast who might do more like barbecue style food on Christmas. So you might be seeing collard greens, cornbread, mac and cheese. Some people do lamb, some people do prime rib, and if you're Jewish, you just go out for Chinese food. Now, before we go into the desserts, let's talk about turkey. So why is turkey such a popular meat for Christmas in England? Why do Americans not often choose turkey on Christmas? To understand turkey, we're gonna need to think about a couple of things. We're gonna need to go back in history, number one, and we're gonna need to think about where turkeys are native to. So America is rife with turkeys. Genuinely, if you go to my hometown, a suburb in Florida, turkeys will be walking around local, just wild turkeys, just walking around local neighborhoods. We were in Boston a couple of weeks ago and turkeys were genuinely just walking around this pretty like close to the city center area of Boston, hanging out outside someone apart, wild turkeys just hanging out. America is full of turkeys. And as I say that, I'm talking about turkeys the food, not turkeys meaning something else. Turkey, however, is not native to the UK. So traditionally, back in the day, they would have served something like goose on Christmas day, which if you're familiar with a Christmas carol, the family is sitting down to eat goose on Christmas day. It wasn't until the 19th century in the UK that turkey was a more popular Christmas meal after the Americas were discovered and colonized and turkeys were brought over. 
Turkeys were cheaper than having a goose, so it worked well in terms of spreading and popularity, but also it still retained that bit of like extravagance because turkeys aren't native to the UK. So it was still seen as something that you eat on Christmas because it's a delicacy, it's an indulgence. Now, why do so many Americans not have turkey on Christmas and instead go for ham, lasagna, tamales, or whatever they want? Basically, and without doing any research, because I can tell you as an American, we just had turkey for Thanksgiving a couple weeks ago. Uh, and then we had turkey for another week after that, using up all the leftover turkey in sandwiches and casseroles and who knows what. So basically by Christmas, we're just a little turkeyed out. Now let's finish up with the inevitable conclusion to the meal, the dessert, or as the English would say, the pudding but they don't mean pudding like Americans mean pudding, but they might mean a Christmas pudding, which I'll explain in a second. So if you're in England, you might finish your Christmas meal with a classic English trifle, basically some pound or sponge cake with layers of jelly, or as we say in the US, jello, and some fruits and some whipped cream and other types of cream, all in layers. Or you might enjoy a Yule log, which to Americans is basically a giant Swiss roll. So think of a chocolate cake and cream rolled together in a log. You could also have Victoria sponge cake or maybe profiteroles, which are uh, some balls of pastry with cream inside and chocolate on top, often called a cream puff in the US. Then there's a traditional dessert, a Christmas pudding. So for Americans out there, I have a Christmas pudding mug. I don't know why. Ignore the candy cane. That is not usually on a Christmas pudding, but this is an example of what a Christmas pudding might look like. So it's going to be a really uh, dense, sticky sponge, and it's gonna be made with like dried fruit, uh, candied fruit, peels of things, um, flour, some almonds, uh, some alcohol, zest of different fruits, uh, all together in this really, really dense kind of uh, rounded sponge. This is often made months and months in advance uh, and soaked in alcohol. And when it's time to serve, lit on fire. Yes, actually lit on fire. Now a Christmas pudding, the closest thing I could compare it to is a fruitcake. So um, in England, they, a Christmas pudding is technically a separate dessert to a fruitcake. You might have both at Christmas dinner, but for Americans watching, think of a really, really dense fruitcake. Now in the US, we are not known for liking fruitcake. Yes, American who loves fruitcake, who's about to comment on this video, I see you, I hear you, but as a culture, we're not a fan. Giving someone a fruitcake in America has become a joke. It is the gag gift that you put under the tree and hope that the cousin that you really don't like gets it in the white elephant gift exchange. In general, our cakes are lighter in America. We prefer them um, fluffier than a more traditional, like denser English cake. And just in general, like the total denseness and taste of a fruit cake isn't really to an American palate. I'm also about to start a controversy here because I'm gonna say my controversial English Christmas opinion is that Christmas pudding isn't actually to most English people's taste either but they eat it because it's Christmas. And the reason for this is because almost every person that I've asked about Christmas pudding and whether they like it always respond that A, they only like it on Christmas, but B, they only like their mom or mom's version, which leads me to believe that it's not necessarily the taste or texture of Christmas pudding that people are enjoying. It's the tradition. It's feeling at home. It's what you're used to. Anyway, if you want my personal opinion, I'll stick to the Yule Logs. Now, in the US, Christmas desserts, again, are more varied than the ones that you might find in, the, in England. And similar to how the Christmas meal can't really be defined as much in the US, the same goes for the desserts. But the one thing that is a given are Christmas cookies. We are obsessed with Christmas cookies, and a Christmas cookie isn't a designation of a particular recipe of cookie. They're just cookies that you eat at Christmas. They could be sugar cookies, gingerbread cookies, snickerdoodle cookies, which aren't common in England, but are a very delicious sugary cinnamon cookie. Hershey's Kisses cookies, pinwheel cookies, just 
any kind of cookie that you might eat around the holiday season. So after the Christmas meal is done in the US, you might find platters of cookies on the table, or you could do something like different types of pies or a baked Alaska or panettone, which is an Italian sweet bread. So there you have it, the differences between Christmas food in England and in the US. I feel like this is one of those topics where the more you dig in, figuratively and literally, the more differences you actually find. Oh, and one more thing. In the US, we really view the Christmas breakfast as a huge tradition in a lot of places. It's not necessarily something that you'd have the whole family over for or as popular as the Christmas dinner, but it is definitely a thing culturally to have the same thing for breakfast every Christmas morning. Uh, for my family, it was cinnamon rolls and for other families, they might do like a brunch setup, some type of casserole, hash brown casserole, some type of like scrambled egg bake. And this is a tradition that you're going to do each and every year. Um, in England, I haven't noticed as much that people are doing the same type of uh, like emphasis on a Christmas breakfast or brunch. It seems here that really you just help yourself to whatever you want for breakfast on Christmas morning. Maybe it varies by the year. And then the tradition is going to come with the Christmas dinner. Um, so that's just a fun fact to point out that, again, I'm not saying people here don't have traditions for what they might do for a breakfast on Christmas day. But in America, we definitely do consider Christmas breakfast or the food that we eat while opening presents as a pretty important tradition in many families. So you made it all the way to the end of the video and that means that I have a question for you. What is your favorite Christmas food? It could be something specific to your family. It could be something like uh, Brussels sprouts in the UK or it could be Christmas cookies. Whatever it is, comment below, tell us where you're from and what your favorite Christmas food is. I hope you've learned something from watching this video. If you'd like more videos on the differences between England and the US, uh, make sure to hit subscribe because more are coming your way. I will be doing another Christmas differences videos and in that we're gonna talk about decorations, we're gonna talk about songs, movies, and the general culture surrounding Christmas. So stay tuned for that and I hope everybody has a very merry week leading up to Christmas.